हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कीमो टेक्सोनॉमी एंड बिहेवियरल टेक्सोनॉमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी और फेनेटिक्स सो इट इज़ अ क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम इन बायोलॉजिकल सिस्टमैटिक्स व्हिच डील्स विद द ग्रुपिंग बाय न्यूमेरिकल मैथड्स ऑफ द टेक्सोनॉमिक यूनिट्स बेस्ड ऑन दियर कैरेक्टर स्टेट्स सो इट गिवस द स्टडी ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स अमंग अ ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द डिग्री ऑफ सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन दैम सच एज द मोलिकुलर सिमिलैरिटी ओके सो वट इज द मोलिकुलर सिमिलैरिटी इट मीन्स द सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ द केमिकल एलिमेंट्स मोलिक्यूल्स और केमिकल कंपाउंड्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू आइदर स्ट्रक्चरल और फंक्शनल क्वालिटीज दैट इज द इफेक्ट दैट द केमिकल कंपाउंड हैज ऑन अ रिएक्शन पार्टनर्स इन इन ऑर्गेनिक और बायोलॉजिकल सेटिंग्स देन द फिनोटिपिक और एन एनाटोमिकल सिमिलैरिटी सो एनाटोमिकल बेसिकली मीन्स द स्ट्रक्चरल डिफरेंसेज और वी कैन से द सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनी ऑर्गेनिज्म सो अ ट्री लाइक नेटवर्क दैट इज एक्सप्रेसिंग द फेनेटिक रिलेशनशिप दैट इज द एवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशनशिप इज कॉल्ड अ फेनोग्राम और फाइलोजेनेटिक ट्री द मेन एम ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी इज टू क्रिएट अ टेक्सोनॉमी using numerical algorithms like cluster analysis so what is a cluster analysis it is the task of grouping a set of objects in such a way that objects in the same group that is called cluster are more similar to each other than to those in the other group that is other clusters so the concept was first developed by robert r sokol and peter एच ए एस नीथ इन दे डिवाइडेड द न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी इनटू टू टाइप्स दैट इज फेनेटिक्स एंड क्लैडिस्टिक्स सो वाट इज़ ए फेनेटिक्स इन विच द क्लासिफिकेशन आर फॉर्म्ड बेस्ड ऑन द पैटर्न ऑफ ओवरऑल सिमिलैरिटीज दैट इज बेसिकली ओवरऑल फुल सिमिलैरिटीज शुड बी कंसिडर्ड हेयर इन बायोलॉजी फेनेटिक्स इज आल्सो नोन एज टेक्सोमैट्रिक्स it is an attempt to classify organisms based on overall similarity usually in morphology or other observable traits that an organism possess getting a clear cut idea about their phylogeny or evolutionary relationships that is how an organism has evolved or what sort of evolutionary phenomena or any character it possesses then cladistics so it is a method in which classifications are based on the branching patterns of the estimated evolutionary history of the taxa so in this basically not overall characteristics but only the evolutionary history of a taxa should be considered here so cladistics also gives the evolutionary relationship among an organism and it is the best method for the phylogenetic analysis or we can say the evolutionary analysis of any animal why because it considers the evolutionary history of any taxa then the basic idea behind the cladistics is that member of a group share a common evolutionary history and they are closely related that is they share some sort of same ancestors then the more closely a members are recognized because of sharing unique features when totally new species evolve it has the unique feature which were not present in that distinct ancestors or we can say the common ancestor these shared derived characteristics are known as synapomorphics so for example if we consider that uh, reptiles have evolved from amphibians so if they uh, possess some characters from the amphibians and also retain new characters so these characters are known as the shared derived characters and are known as synapomorphics then for example consider a jellyfish starfish and human both the fishes that are jellyfish and starfish live in water they have a radial symmetry and are invertebrates so it can be possible that they belong to together in a same group these would not reflect evolutionary relationship however the starfish and the human are more closely related than the jelly and the human so it is not just the presence of a shared derived characteristics which is important but the presence of shared derived characteristics that is important so in this example all three characteristics are believed to have same common ancestor that is for jellyfish um, starfish and human but their evolutionary characteristics are different in these three animals then we consider another example that is of lizard crocodiles and birds lizards and crocodiles have a superficial phenetic similarity due to their elongate scaly body and four footed strength that they have 
and also they both uh, represent the reptilia class however it is recognized that the crocodiles are more closely related to birds because both have four chambered heart that is two auricles and two ventricles whereas lizard has three chambered heart as the ventricle is partially divided so in this diagram as we can see so basically on the basis of shared characteristics we can see lizard and crocodiles are uh, close and bird is distant then in the another case lizard and cro crocodile are close and bird is distant but according to phylogenetics that is shared derived characteristics we can say lizard is far from the crocodile and bird and they are closely related in uh, many of the features that they possess then the difference between the phonetics and cladistics so phonetics and cladistics are two different system of the classification of a biological organism phonetics classify organism based on overall similarities mainly the morphological structure without concerning their evolutionary relationships that is how they should have evolved or what are their ancestors are should they have any common ancestor or not then basically the phonetical classification is based on how similar two organisms look so the organism may have different evolutionary history history but has developed similar morphological features through convergent evolution so phonetics generally consider this type of data then again a, a diagram showing according to phonetics lizard and crocodile are close and bird is distant then jellyfish and starfish are close if we consider the morphological characters that they possess and man is distant from them but according to cladistics jellyfish is far behind uh, we can say far distant and starfish and men are close that is oh, these are known as organism in a single clade so what is a cladistics it attempts to classify organisms based on their lineage in this classification system a single category known as clade contains the most recent common ancestors of all organisms in the clade as well as organism descended from the ancestors so the organism in the single clade may be morphologically different but they share the evolutionary relationship so the basic difference between phonetics and cladistics is that former that is phonetics is based on the morphology and later that is the cladistic is based on the evolutionary relationship so this is all about the numerical taxonomy hope you like this video so if you like this video please do subscribe my channel